Hey guys, how's it going? James here, and today I'll be showing you guys all of the weapons, metal weapons, and everything in The Last of Us. So first off, this is the revolver. It's my favourite, uh, you know, small weapon, because it is, uh, for multiplayer, it packs a good punch, and it's one of the most accurate ones. The El Diablo is better, but obviously it's much rarer to find ammunition, but I love that gun anyway, the 9mm pistol next. The pistol you start off at the beginning of the game. Uh, this packs a decent punch, it's about a three shot to the body against, uh, AI. Uh, online it's about a four shot, although you can put a suppressor on this and you can't put a suppressor on the revolver. I suppose that's the up and down, but obviously as you can see the reticle is slightly bigger as opposed to the revolver, but I do still prefer the revolver out of these two weapons. Right, next is the shorty. I haven't got much gameplay for this. I don't know why, because I use this loads, but anyway, this is just like a short shotgun. Uh, in campaign it can be a one shot to the face or one to the body if you're really close, but online it is pretty much a two shot. Um, no matter what, but it's a decent weapon. Very up close, though you have to be close to use it. But uh, so there, there the 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 statistics for these three uh, small firearms for multiplayer. I'm not sure if they're different for campaign, but they're pretty much the same. Uh, but it seems like you know you need to shoot them a little bit more for multiplayer. Okay. Oh, and finally, this is kind of like a bonus pistol. This is just Ellie's pistol that you get to use uh, briefly for one mission. I won't tell you why, but uh, yeah, you get to use. Her pistol. It's. Uh, I think it's also a nine millimeter. Um, I didn't get much gameplay for this either because you don't get to use it for very long, and I kind of failed on the clicker here. But it is about. A f it's the same as the nine millimeter that uh, Joel has, pretty much, except for the fact that uh, I'll just show it in slow motion again. But it only holds six in a mag as opposed to four. Um, but it is a bit nippy and it doesn't recoil as much. But they're basically the same. There's a spider staring at me. It's quite scary. Anyway, so next to the large firearms, this is a semi-automatic semi rifle. It uh, it takes about three bullets to down some from the body and two in the head, so it's not a one-shot headshot. But uh, it's the first rifle you get, and most people use this online. Uh, you can add a suppressor to it, and you can keep it quite good control if you fire not too quickly. So that's the good things about it. Although I do prefer the burst rifle, which we're seeing now. The burst rifle, you can actually quickly headshot people and kill them instantly. Obviously, you have to down them and uh, take them down that way. But literally, if you get like a body shot and you spray upwards, you can hit them with about two bullets in the face or one bullet in the face, and that seems to instantly kill them. But uh, it's as accurate, well, in terms of the reticle, is uh, as small. But obviously it does have a bit of a bigger burst, so it's not as accurate, but at close range it really is quite the killer. And it is a really good weapon in that way. You can also put a silencer on it, and you spawn with more ammunition. So that's another reason why I like it. But every game I play with it, I seem to do better, because it's more of a uh, medium range weapon, and a lot of the uh, fights in this are medium range. The next up is the hunting rifle. The hunting rifle is uh, a very good gun. In, in uh, single player, it's a one-shot kill. Uh, that's if you upgraded it, I think. But I'm pretty sure it's a one-shot kill from the beginning anyway. But uh, online, it is a two-shot to the body and then a one-shot head, to which therefore downs them. You can add a, uh, a... It's usually iron sights, but you can add, obviously, a scope onto it in the campaign. Uh, when you play as Ellie, you also get it from uh, another guy. You nick his hunting rifle, and it is a very powerful one. And it even one-shots clickers, as I just saw. So, um... Yeah, but online it's a two shot to the body and then a one shot to the head. So uh, it's a good rifle. Um, it's a bit odd to use if you've used it in campaign and then you use it on multiplayer because you can't aim uh, normally and then scope in as well. It just scopes in because online it's just got the scope on it and you can't take the scope off. But it's a good gun to use in campaign and thing is. The next up is the bow. The bow is, uh, I'm not, I wasn't sure to think of it at the start. It's about a two... Uh, to the body or three to the body, but when you get used to it, you really do turn into a Legolas badass. Like, I'm really good with this now. You can headshot people with one to the face. It is obviously super silent, makes no noise whatsoever, and you swarm with a decent amount of arrows as well, and it's also very accurate as long as you take your time and don't keep spamming them, because obviously you need time to pull it back to try and hit them. But all in all, this is probably one of my favorites. I'd say the burst rifle and then this, because you keep good control of it and be very accurate. So there are the statistics for them. The uh, semi-automatic rifle is more powerful out of that and the burst rifle, but uh, obviously the burst rifle fires three at once. So in a way, if you get all the bullets on them, then you are dealing more damage and you will kill them quicker if you're going up against a semi. Uh, there's the hunting rifle, that's almost full damage. Obviously, so if you headshot someone, it'll instantly down them and then the boat doesn't say, but obviously it's a silent and what I've said, it's a very good weapon. Okay, so now onto the uh, the power weapons pretty much in the game, starting off with the shotgun. This is 
It's a close range bruiser, as the tag says. It's a pretty beasty weapon. Close range will kill pretty much anything, and medium range will kill pretty much anything. I've upgraded mine so it has about eight in a mag. It usually only has four, and in the multiplayer, it's one shot close up. Same within campaign, except the uh, distance you can kill them close up is well, the distance you can kill them with one shot is much more on a uh, single player. So it's really just the range that's better on single player, and uh, you can upgrade, for example, like how quick he pumps it and stuff like that, but all around it's pretty beasty, like one shot to take off armor, one shot to kill him. Next, the assault rifle, let's get an M4 or an AR-15, wherever, something like that. Um, you get this on the very last mission of the game, and you can also get it in multiplayer, you can buy it. Um, this is a pretty good gun, in, in campaign it is, uh, it's just, it just shreds the shit out of enemies, because it's very accurate, doesn't recoil much, and it's only about four shots to kill someone. But in multiplayer, to be honest, I don't think it's that good in multiplayer, because the Red Skull goes a lot bigger in multiplayer, and uh, I prefer to get like an El Diablo or something. Speaking of El Diablo, here's the El Diablo. Uh, the El Diablo is the uh, kind of upgraded revolver of the game, it's a 44 or a 50 Magnum. Uh, and it has a scope on it, it's a two shot, to t well about two to three shots to take out these big bastards and uh, the rest of enemies only take around one shot, uh, even clickers are only one shot so this is a very good gun and online it's two shots to the body and one to the head. Now onto the flamethrower, that's right you bastards, a flamethrower, pretty self-explanatory, hold it down, aim, fire. You know what, don't even fucking aim, just sit there and go, you know what, hey guys, I'm just going to set your all asses on fire. I haven't used it as a multiplayer, you can buy it of course as a power weapon, but campaign you get it in the university on the right as you're entering in, it's a very good gun, uh, well, it's just self-explanatory, flamethrower. Uh, it's probably the best weapon to take out the infected because it kills clickers and normal infected as quick as it would do, like clickers are just as easy to kill, it's, you just wipe the floor with these bastards. I haven't attempted having a go against the uh, bloaters, but I'm not sure it might do kill them quickly. Okay, now on the military sniper, the L96, um, this is a semi-automatic one, and it's also a two-shot to the body, so it's kind of like an upgraded hunting rifle. It just kind of decreases the time in which you can shoot somebody and have to reload it. As you can see, you can just go bam, bam. Uh, you start with four bullets if you want to buy more when you buy it from the store, but to be honest, I don't really like it because it has two ways of zoom, and you don't really need to zoom anymore, and I just don't like snipers in that game much anyway. Okay, so finally, the uh, melee weapons. So first of all, there's obviously the wooden plank, which I don't have gameplay for, sorry, but the wooden plank only lasts for four hits. The baseball bat lasts for six hits, which is the exact same thing. Uh, and then the um, lead pipe lasts for about nine. Actually, I think the baseball bat lasts for about six, seven, and the lead pipe's about eight, nine. But remember, you can put like attachable scissors on these, which add for two extra hits or one extra hit, as you saw just then. Uh, so they're like brutal, take about three hits if you normally hit, but one hit if you run at them. And then here's a machete, which lasts for only three hits, but these are instant kills, no matter what. If you just hit them once, bam, they're dead. On multiplayer, it takes a few slashes, but you will instantly kill a person with at least one of them. So here's an axe, and uh, the axe is basically the same as machete, except it can hold, I think, six kills. Um, but yeah, they're both pretty damn badass and brutal, and uh, I love these weapons. Okay, and next up is Ellie's little switchblade knife, which she is a complete crazy bastard with. Uh, she like jumps on people's backs and stabs the shit out of them, and it takes about two to three normal slices, and then you can look at that, slice out their eyeballs. Look at this, you pasty pasty there's also a shiv. I almost forgot. You can one hit people from behind, and if you smoke bomb someone, you can stab them in the face. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.